Hi, I'm Matt with Ranch Hands. Um, today we uh, put some electricity in this small office complex that we're building. And uh, I just wanted to go over briefly a few steps and stages that may help you at home. Um, the first stage is, uh, is boxing. Okay, we got with the customer, we found out where he wanted the boxes, the receptacles, the lights. So we just uh, went ahead and nailed them in where the customer wanted them. The second stage in our wiring is uh, drilling the holes. We have to find a path for our wires to go. So we box, we drill, and uh, you can see the studs have all been drilled. So that would be our stage two. Um, the third process would be to uh, pull the wire in. So we got our boxes, we got our holes, we pulled in all our wire and all our circuits and all the paths and completed our wiring. Okay, so once the boxing, the drilling, the wiring is done. Now we're going to do some makeup. Um, important reminder, something I always like to do is I like to make my wires up in the box, your blacks to black, your whites to white, and I like to pigtail out to the receptacle. Um, the reason I do this is because it allows the circuit to have more continuity, the electrons to flow more evenly without the plug being at fault. If this plug goes bad, my circuit stays good. And uh, that will give you a rock solid system, no doubt. So um, real quick, you can see I'm pigtailed out with these two wires, a black and a white. Um, something I remembered as an apprentice and growing up as a kid, a little helpful, another reminder is, is um, how to hook this plug up. It's properly, it's, it's very important that you do it right. Otherwise the plug will have reverse polarity in it. Um, so what I always do is a rule, a general rule of thumb is, uh, you know, good guys wear white and their horse is named silver. Okay. I try to remember the Lone Ranger. Okay. So good guys wear white and their horse is named silver. So I'm going to take this white wire and I'm going to go to the silver side of the plug here. Like so, as you can see, okay, I'm going to take my drill. I'm going to make sure that that's nice and tight. Okay, get this other screw nice and tight. And then I'm gonna go to the other side of the plug. And I'm gonna remember that bad guys wear black and they're always after the gold. So pretty simple. Uh, bad guys wear black and they're always after the gold. Good guys wear white and their horse's name is silver. And that's it. I'm Matt with Ranch Hands. Stay tuned and stay posted for our upcoming videos.